Welcome to Warriors Media Day, and I'm Lawrence Scott, joined alongside Tim Roy and Clay Thompson, bringing it right here, and wow, with just a busy weekend leading into this Media Day and the start of training camp, the Splash Brothers Clinic. You had this awesome day at a West Oakland middle school where you made a nice donation, but also got to bring Larry to the kids. <laughs> What was that day like? How's this off season been? And just recently, this past weekend, it, it was huge. Yeah, great off season, short and sweet. Uh, wouldn't have it any other way. Uh, you know, at the Kip School yesterday or a few days ago, just so fun. You know, interacting with the kids and bringing you know a great moment in their life, but also as well as mine, just sharing the trophy with them. Just seeing the excitement, and smiles on their faces, and made their day. So that was awesome. You know, gave them a few words of encouragement and. I made a nice donation just because I really believe in that place. Uh, been in communication with them for about a year now, and I think those kids, I think the world of those kids, I think they have so much potential. And you also got to throw out the first pitch in an A's game. Looked like you had a little practice. It was a nice pitch yeah. there. What'd you, what'd you throw? Uh, <laughs> just threw a, you know, four-seam fastball. Try to have a tail away. Uh, I didn't throw it as hard as I wanted, but I wanted to make sure I threw a strike, so I just try to... And I just want to experience that, man. The A's asked me to do it a while back when I was busy, but I asked them, and they were very gracious to let me do it. And I, it uh, was a dream come true. I mean, just throwing a pitch from a big league mound was awesome. Just fe fe seeing how it felt out there was sweet. And uh, it, it was an even better game, too. It was a great game, Battle of the Bay. Uh, so many home runs, so many hits, and it was just fun to be a part of. Now, it's a great summer for the Thompson family because now you're celebrating the championship, but your brother got called up for the Chicago White Sox. That had to be a thrill for, for the whole family. Oh, yeah. Uh, dream come true for all of us because we know how much Trace wanted it. Uh, we know he's not settled or he's not happy with just getting there. He wants to be a player in the league, and um, it was so much fun going out and seeing him play in Chicago, and uh, you know, I really believe in him, and I believe he has all the talent in the world. It's just about doing it on a daily basis and becoming a great pro, which he is. It goes without saying that last season was huge on, on many fronts. Uh, your first All-Star game and the championship title, such a thrill for everybody to be a part of it and see it happen and then the parade. But as you look at this season and what you want to get out of this season, how do you build on that success earned last year? Uh, well, we can't be complacent, and I... I know we won't. We got guys who are too competitive. We've tasted that feeling, and we really want it again. Uh, I mean, we know the second one's going to be much harder. The team's going to be gunning for us, but we're excited for it. We want that pressure. We want that bullseye on our back. Um, to me, we're the most talented group of guys in the world as far as on the basketball court. So uh, the key for us is just obviously health will be a big part of it, um, which is not, uh, not taking any night for granted, you know, knowing that, you know, stack up wins early and uh, protect your home court and just uh, st stay focused and do it by week by week basis. Don't look all the way to June. Just, you know, look, we're gonna get through a great training camp this week and then go from there. Any moment or moments stick out for you from last year? Just, the, just our postseason run was so special. Uh, the finals to me really stick out. Just that, that game six, the last few minutes, uh, nerve wracking, but, um, this whole, uh, just a post-game celebration of a, what a year's work of hard work feels like and to be able to celebrate with teammates in the locker room and the whole front office and the fans and the parade on top of that, that's what sticks out to me the most was that last month of the season. Clay, we loved it. We had a blast and looking forward to opening night against the Pelicans, the ring ceremony, the banner unveiling and all that's to come. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, so it's going to be a great year. And yeah, the team is right back at it in the preseason, the first game of the preseason, Monday, October 5th, 7.30 p.m. at the SAP Center in San Jose as the Toronto Raptors are visiting the Bay Area. It is the first preseason game, and the first 10,000 fans in attendance will receive a Stephen Curry San Jose Sharks special edition bobblehead. Get there early. A limited number of tickets are still available at warriors.com, or you call 888-GSW-HOOP and press 1 for more information and Tim, it's time. We're it's here. Time. We can reflect on last year. When you reflect on last year, what do you reflect upon? Well, you know, it's funny. You mentioned about uh, San Jose. The Warriors were there in 96, 97 and played their whole season there. And, and uh, we were talking about the championship then, you know, mm -hmm. but we, we saw the Warriors go through this now, the championship, one of the 
10 teams in NBA history to win 67 games, a great differential. It's the best season in franchise history. And I think that as time goes on, we're going to appreciate this past season more and more because it was special. It was unique, and it featured a locker room of guys that really played for each other. And, you know, nobody really cared who got the credit as long as they got the wins. And I think it really showed in, in the postseason how unselfish the dynamic was. And I think that's one reason why they won. And here during all the media day festivities, we got a chance to talk with Warriors general manager Bob Myers about all of the reflections as you consider the roster, where it went, and what the result was, the NBA title, and his reflections on this past season. Well, I think you can learn from success. I think you learn more from failure, which we had our share of. And hopefully that was a reason why we were successful last year as we built on some lessons learned through, through adversity. But last year we didn't have much of that, which is what you want, which is if you're in this long enough, you're gonna have years like last year, but you can learn from success. You can build on success. And so the hope is when reflecting, we can expand upon a lot of the good things that occurred last year, a lot of the bonds that were built the strong foundation that existed and hope to continue. So staying the course, staying competitive, staying hungry, staying humble, all those things are things you want to sustain and build on. And then also the hope that hard work and effort can uh, even get you to a better place. And that could be individual growth that leads to team growth. So there's a lot of areas to look at, but I do imagine going into 15, 16, uh, things went pretty well last year. So we may be tested in different ways that we weren't tested in, even, even through scrutiny that we're not 67 and 15. Um, we had such a tremendous beginning to last year's season, and we sustained it throughout the entire year, not losing more than two games the entire year. I, I would hope that won't happen again, but uh, I, I think it might be hard to, to avoid. So what happens when that happens? So being ready for some additional adversity is something we need to brace for, but I, I think we're ready for it and uh, up, up to the task. Well, one of the reasons why the Warriors won the title was that Bob Myers had maybe the best draft in franchise history. Picking up Harrison Barnes in the, in the first round and then following that up with Festus Azili and Draymond Green. Three very important parts to the Warriors championship run. Well, tickets for all preseason and regular season games are available now. With a dynamic pricing model in place, fans are encouraged to buy early and save. Tickets are always available, even when the game is sold out. 100% guaranteed verified resale tickets from season ticket holders on sale at warriors.com. Call 888-GSW-HOOP and press 1 for more information. A very festive media day here <laughs> in Oakland as Lawrence Scott, Tim Roy, and Draymond Green join us here. And, and first off, I know it was an amazing offseason, but what was really, really amazing, we haven't gotten the chance to talk to you about it, is the donation to Michigan State. That's all love. That was obviously very important to you. Tell us about how it all came about and really what it will help to do at your alma mater. Uh, I mean, you know, Michigan State has meant so much to me, you know, as a player, but more so even as a person. Um, you know, I bleed green and white. Um, you know, so to give back was a no-brainer for me. Uh, you know, there's been several donors over the course of my years since I've been to Michigan State that I've met that continues to give back to the program and you know they gave back to help me out so why wouldn't I give back to help someone else out that comes after me and you know so that was a no-brainer uh, you know the love I have for Coach Izzo for you know Dr. Simon for uh, our athletic director Mark Hollis for the entire university you know it's like no other you know so to give back um, you know was an amazing feeling I said I've, I've never been so excited to give some money away you know but <laughs> I was amazing and you know, I, if I was in that same position, I would do it again. You know, I, would, I wouldn't change a thing about it. You know, it was an amazing, gave me great pleasure, and I'm just thankful for, to be in the position to do that. When you mentioned it to Coach Izzo, what was his response initially? He just, I, I told him on the phone, and he just stopped talking. <laughs> And then he was like, really? And then he started coming up with ideas like, you need to call uh, Mark, to our athletic director. Like, he's in a meeting uh, in, in Traverse City right now with the president, but I'll, call, I'll text him right now. He get, need to get out that meeting. You need to talk to him right away. So I called him, and, you know, we talked about it, and, you know, the process started from there, but he was speechless. <laughs> 
detail the rest of this offseason and how you really soaked in the summer of being a champion. Oh, I mean, it was it was amazing. You know, obviously a lot of things changed with that. So, you know, um, it was fun. You know, everywhere you went, everybody noticed you. Uh, you know, everything was just a lot different. But, you know, uh, it was great. Um, you know, I had some opportunities that I'm not sure I would have ever had when I win a championship. So, you know, that was amazing. And, you know, it was, I mean, it's hard to put into words. It was just a great offseason. 83 and 20, that's what this team went last year, counting playoffs. And now you're you're signed and sealed with the Warriors for the next few years. How excited are you to continue to be a Golden State Warrior? Very excited. Uh, you know, obviously it's where I started my career. Um, it'll be great for it to be somewhere. I mean, it doesn't happen often, but I like to finish my career here. And so um, just got to continue to get better, continue to have fun. Um, you know, we're obviously we have a young group, a young core group of guys, so we need to continue to build up on that. By the way, Lawrence, I wanted to tell Draymond that he is now he's an official term because in, in getting ready to cover the NBA draft this year, which was right after the finals, I kept reading all these articles looking for the next Draymond Green. He's got a little Draymond Green in him. That's 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 pretty uh, high compliment there. Yeah, it is. Uh, I saw some of that uh, this offseason, like around that time, and I was like, wow. Like, <laughs> Three years removed from falling to the second round, and they're talking. Everybody's looking for the next Draymond Green. It's kind of weird to me, but I mean that is an amazing accomplishment, uh, an amazing compliment. Um, but you know that all changed if I continue to get better. So you know it was cool. It's good to see, but we just gotta continue to improve on it. Take us back to the 2012 draft, and maybe even into that first summer league. And could you have imagined at that point? that this team would get to the point that it is now as quickly as it did from Absolutely when you were Absolutely not. I mean, obviously we came in with the mindset of like, yeah, fellas, like, we're going to win some games and we're going to do this and going to do that. And I still remember like it was yesterday. I was just three years ago and our goal was to get to the playoffs. Yeah. You know, just get to the playoffs. That was our goal the whole season. We got to get to the playoffs. We got to get to the playoffs. And we did. And we just continued to build up on those goals. and. You know, continue to raise the bar and raise the standard. And I still can't say that the standard was to be here three years later, but it's an amazing feeling. What's going to be like this year? What's going to be different this year now that the Warriors are defending champs and that the whole league's coming after you? Oh, well, I mean, obviously, you know, everybody's you're going to be a target to everybody. Everybody's going to give you their best shot, you know, which, I mean, hey, that's what we play for, right? So, you know, um, but we just got to come in with the same mindset that we came in last year with. Now, I think the challenge for us is to approach game one of 82 like it's game one of 82. You can't carry on last season into this season. You got to leave it behind and try to do it again. Draymond, congratulations on what was just an amazing season, and here's to great success coming into this coming Thanks season. Thanks a lot. Thanks for having me. Thank you.